uh, I came across some uh, feminist theory uh, regarding the feminization of men and uh, feminization of men and uh, how that was uh, that enabled um, societies to form and uh, uh, cities and and cultural um, advances in in the world. So there's a couple of points here. First of all, uh, feminist theory is not really well. It's more a misnomer than anything else. The the idea that it's anything like a theory in, a, in the scientific sense of the word um, is just ludicrous. Um, uh, the, uh, the idea that, uh, that this theory can be tested in, in reality is, um, you know, it's, it's just, it doesn't stand, uh, it doesn't hold this, uh, the sniff smell doesn't work, sort of, so to speak. So, um, yeah, there's more, more like feminist musings uh, excuse the uh, traffic noise here. I'm, I'm stuck in the pizza shop at the moment. But it's more it's more like uh, the musings of, of some delusional feminist rather than feminist theory. Uh, and I, I don't say that facetiously. It, it, it's because feminist theory is based on um, the misconception that there's a malevolent patriarchy at work in the world uh, as just one one fallacy that they 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 uh, base their theories on. So anyway, this idea that uh, men need to be men, men need to be feminised in order to for society to work. Um, so this, if you like, the idea is that back in the past, in the dim dark ages before feminist enlightenment, there was uh, you know, like warlords and um, psychopaths and sociopaths uh, running cities, and they were all men, of course. Um, and, and therefore um, there was war and strife throughout the land, etc, etc. And um, it wasn't until men became feminized that they were actually able to um, live in a civilized world. So if you know anything about um, anthropology, uh, human males are uh, one of the few species on the planet uh, where unrelated males will work um, cooperatively. So there's a couple of other species about. There's um, orcas, the killer whales. They'll have um, unrelated males in their pods um, and, and they cohabit peacefully. And you've also got the chimpanzees, of course, who will have um, troops of unrelated males um, cooperatively working for the benefit of uh, the troops. So there's um, like examples of this, but humans humans uh, exemplify this this trait in men. Uh, and it, you could go into any workplace, um, any country, anywhere in the world, and you'll see men cooperatively working together, completely unrelated, right? So uh, that's just male nature. Human male nature is, is that we cooperate um, the idea that uh, before before feminist enlightenment, um, that that men were just violent pigs and thugs. Um, well, it just doesn't bear any any scrutiny whatsoever. Um, you look at uh, ancient Egypt, for example. There's um, a civilization that we can still see the. The remnants of it today it's one of the seven runners of the world the, the pyramids they they were built by men uh, working cooperatively um, and, and and so this idea that that you've got to feminize men in order to um, have a civil society is I mean the, the, the it's just a ludicrous idea that, that you, if you've got feminized men, you've got weak men. When you've got weak men, you've got dangerous men. And, and it's the strong men who uh, enforce the laws, and the laws are what uh, maintain the civilized society. And you've only got to look at what's happening in the States, um, where you've got um, DAs letting people out on the streets without bail, uh, and your crime rates are through the roof. And that's because uh, that's a feminized society. 
So, uh, feminist theory, absolute, <laughs> absolute nonsense, uh, and um, it's it's masculine men that maintain a civilized society. It's it's got nothing to do with women in society. Uh, you know, they they've really and you know they they don't really contribute much to a society uh, in, in meaningful ways like uh, the maintenance of society for example this you know electricity water sewerage that's all uh, men the men are, have designed and built it and um, they've uh, they made they are the ones that maintain it in the cities uh, the justice system men it's uh, no, this like this feminist theory, you know, the 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 thing that the one one of the big issues with it is that uh, it's based on um, this idea that this this malevolent patriarchy has suppressed and oppressed women for the majority of uh, human existence, and um, there's, it's just not based on on reality in the slightest, um, and it needs to be uh, called out for. For what it is, which is delusion. So, um, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm, as you can see, I'm pretty bored <laughs> in the in the pizza shop at the moment. So, anyway, have a good day.